Alright, here we go guys. Today we have a 3v3 on simple between the carbon team and the green team. On the carbon team we have Spore Freak in the Saucer, Rabbit Rage in the Striker, and Huga in the Osprey. On the green team we have Sitaclose in the Saucer, Extreme Kuna in the Helix, and Xanity 13 in the Striker. So it looks like the green team is going for a jumper push on mid. This is a very highly used tactic for simple because the, the outposts are so close together and while the carbon team is going a more conservative route of destroying the neutrals at their forward and taking that and then moving on towards mid. Um, so let's see which strategy works out better. Jumpers are immediately moving to this outpost for the green team and they are able to take that so the infantry will move on towards the mid there. And it looks like there's double harass for the Harmon team and both players, Spore Freak and Rabbit Rage, do go down. So now the green team will have an advantage at the fight towards mid since only Huga is here to defend. But he does have a massive jumper push as well. So it looks like both teams going with the jumper push for the mid. It looked Carbon's team has destroyed, but Xanity with the Striker Sword is able to kill almost all of Carbon's jumpers. So neither team is able to take this mid at the simple during this early game. So green team is now pushing out with some tanks and some infantry. So they will probably be able to take this outpost before Carbon team can react, and they do. They should stop these dills though before they are killed by the units. Spore Freak trying to abduct them, but they do go down. Hu Extreme Kuna does micro one away. And so Green Team does have a pretty good hold on the mid there. Um, Huga is sending another jumper rush, and it looks like he's bringing some creeps along with it. Rabbit Rage is trying to kill some tanks at mid, but there is a lot of anti-air there to deter him from doing that. And so there's another huge infantry push, second one of the game for the Carbon Team, going towards this green middle outpost. And the green team, Xanity does go down, and the green team doesn't have any tanks here to defend besides one Longhorn and a Dillo. Sitaclose trying to abduct, but it's so hard to abduct the jumpers. And Extreme Kuna does go down to Spore Freak as well, so Spore Freak is now going to abduct that heavy ratchet. And Carbon Team has taken control of the mid, so uh, a power flip on the this map in simple. Uh, Spore Freak trying to abduct those tanks, but. Sitaclose does micro it away, but Spore Freak gets him on the way out while he's carrying that tank. Um, and so, the green mechs are able to neutralize this mid outpost again and destroy the tanks there. So, But Carbon Team does have more infantry coming out and um, will probably be able to take this. The green team needs to get some infantry or tanks here to help with the mid fight um, because mechs alone are not going to win you the game. So Extreme Kuna does go down again to Rabbit Rage and Carbon Team does get this outpost again. Spore Freak is trying to abduct that Gemini and he does do so and there is now a Goliath out on the field for the Carbon Team so they have a good hold on the mid now. I don't think uh, Green Team will be able to get that get the mid back anytime soon and are now placing some artillery out to start attacking this green forward for so the carbon team it does also have a bertha now so they have a bertha and a goliath which are going to quickly kill the units here at greens forward and that gemini does go down to the artillery and the green team is not really trying to fight back uh xanity is bombing those artillery but it is so hard to bomb against a Osprey because the Osprey can easily micro those units away and heal them up very quickly. So green team is coming back to their close outpost to start a push of some tanks and infantry. They do have a little seeker push here uh, with three Gemini and a seeker. So it'll be interesting to see where they push that out to. But carbon team has neutralized that outpost with their artillery. So Green team is really behind now. They really need to bring some infantry up here, which they do, to take back this outpost for the moment. But they really need to kill that artillery so that they can keep this outpost and get some defenses out. There is some harass going on down here for the green team, um, but there is two carbon mechs here to micro those money makers away, and Sitaclose does go down. Rabbit Rage has also killed two money makers and is now attacking the uh, green outpost 
the base, um, and is going for a third moneymaker. Will Cidiclos be able to respawn before he kills it? No! Cidiclos doesn't respawn quite quickly enough, and Rabbit Rage is able to get away back to his mid outpost. Um, Extreme Kuna is still is getting a little bit of damage with that Dillo, but does die on the way out, and um, Rabbit Rage will be able to kill that before too much damage goes down on their base. Cidiclos is just abducting some creeps, not the best use of time. Um, there are definitely better things to do. And another jumper push by the Carbon team. They are able to take that outpost with all those jumpers, and the jumpers are now moving on towards this close. I don't think they'll be able to get it right now because this is quite heavily defended, but the Carbon team does have two Goliaths at this forward outpost now, so green team is really at a disadvantage. They really need to push out or try and get an outpost back or set up some artillery before the Carbon team um, is able to grab their close outpost as well. There is an, a Bertha going down here for the Carbon team, but it is not supported at all, so Xanity might be able to destroy that. But a hat does go down by Rabbit Rage, so Xanity has to retreat out of the area. Um, so there is a lot of anti-air there now, and Rabbit Rage does go down to that Armadillo. He should have escaped a little bit. Uh, he got bringing out a Goliath as well. So there are three people dead. Spore Freak is trying to abduct and bomb this secret... Uh, push that the green team has, but Xanity bringing out some ratchets, so Spore Freak won't be able to get much done there. Um, they really need to push that out. Oh, Spore Freak does go down to Xanity on the way out as well. Um, so they really need to move these units out of the way. There is a Sonya here for the green team, so that artillery won't do too much damage. But And this Goliath here for the Carbon team is just out of range of the green units. If they move it up a little bit, that Goliath will be able to devastate these units since their tanks are smoking. And, um, Spore Freak does kill Cidiclos. I believe Cidiclos killed a Bertha that was down there, um, or Xanity did. So a little bit of a revenge for that. Um, and this outpost is gonna go to- oh, the, it goes neutral, so green team does not have any more infantry. They really need to take back this outpost and push out before the carbon team pushes out, which they do. Another jumper rush. That is the theme of the day game today, ladies and gentlemen. Jumper rushes on simple are OP, apparently, um, in this high mid-tier game between the Carbon and Green Team. So, it looks like Carbon Team is pushing out for this Green Team's base. Green Team doesn't really have any defenses, just a tank or two with some ratchets supporting. And Carbon Team does have five Seekers out on the field for um, this attack uh, with some Goliaths. Uh, supporting it and so their hope is that they push with a lot of seekers and not as many tanks because the seekers will kill the enemy mechs so that they can't micro the units around and then the carbon team can easily destroy the enemy base with the tanks that they do have and it is working for them but to counter this type of push you should really constantly be moving never sit over your outposts if there are a lot of seekers at your base, but the green team does not do that, and Carbon Team takes this victory 3v3 on duel, and it looks like Spore Freak is the MVP of this 3v3, so I hope you guys liked this uh, commentary, and be sure to watch my other videos, and like, subscribe, refer me in-game if you're new, and download this awesome game of Air Mech. Thanks for watching, guys.